Good morning, everyone. I thought I would show y'all something a little different this morning other than the Bertram 28. I haven't been able to do any work on it lately due to farm stuff, my normal job, all in the way. But this is my 26 by 9 custom aluminum bay boat. Um, it was built out of a, a guy out of Bell River, Louisiana, did the haul for me. And I'm about to jump back on it and try to get this thing wrapped up by Christmas and get it painted. And then I can start rigging it out. It is 26 by nine. So nine foot beam at the widest, 26 foot from all the way from the transom, motor mount, all the way to the front. I got a, one of the hatches off, one of the little lids off, doing some work to it and trying to get the aluminum work finished up on it. Aluminum is not cheap right now. Actually, nothing's cheap at the moment. I thought I'd give you a little walkthrough of what it's gonna look like. I am gonna put a 350 Suzuki on the back with a Jack plate around here, we need jack plates. You can get into some skinny water with it. Uh, being able to raise the motor up six inches or so, get on plane, really helps a lot. I will put some trim tabs on it because this boat with that 350 will probably run somewhere around 70 miles an hour, top speed. Um, I know with a, the 300s, 250s and 300s, they'll do about 60, 65. I mainly want a larger motor because when we load it down with people, fuel and bait, it, it can get kind of heavy. Um, I have two 35 gallon tanks that go in it. They're not in it at the moment, but that's what I'm gonna put on the back of it is the 350. I am gonna cut out this console. I need a wider console with these seats I have. As you can see, seats are wider than the console. So I will be coming out four inches on each side. I'm also right in here gonna add rod holders where to angle out, come in here. I'm gonna come around here. You still have plenty of room to walk through here. This ice chest is in here just to kind of mimic how I want to mount these. I do want to be able to slide a small ice chest under the back side, but they will be able to slide in and out. They can move forward and backwards. You can see one of the slides right there. Back here is where you, your uh, fuel tanks will go, your pumps. All my batteries will actually go under the console, trying to move some weight forward. So I'll have two batteries, two engine batteries for that. Up here in the front, you have, this side's gonna be rod storage. As you can see, that's a pretty big storage area in there. I don't know how that got in there, but it did. On this side, I actually have a cutout right now to build a box. This right here is part of it. Um, this will be an insulated box right here, and that will be my fish box on that side. Uh, down here will be your tackle storage. It's perfect size to fit tackle in here. I'll come in and weld the the different things to make your tackle box, your individual boxes come in here and fit nice and neat and have plenty of room. Up here is just gonna be your storage for your life vest, your throwables, anything like that will be in there. And then up front, this is where you'll store any, your, my three, um, Trolling motor batteries will go in here. I don't know if that will 
fit all three. The gentleman made that for me, but I may actually have to make it wider. I'm not sure yet, but um, this is where the three batteries and the battery charger for the front will go for the trolling motor. I will deck everything in C-deck. Either C-deck or safe floor. I don't remember which one I really want to go with yet. I haven't made that decision. This will be the live well. It will also be insulated. I'll have to build a little button insert that goes in and be able to insulate around it. But that will be where the live well goes. Um, again, the plans for the center console is to widen it four inches, put rod holders on the side on horizontal. I think I can fit four on each side. And I will have a full size windshield i want to be able to that if you get in rain when it's cold outside to be able to run and get behind it and not have to worry about um that i've even thought about making a t-top that's removable for it and coming in and actually mounting it inside here where we can pull it off of my tractor take it off if i don't want the top on it or if i do i can just set it back on there and put it on there it'd be a solid top it would not be a canvas style t-top it would be a solid aluminum t-top um, that's really about it if y'all have any questions and comments please leave them i will do some uh, video of me cutting this out welding manufacturing the new console on it um, and it's already going to be a chore cutting this thing out it's kind of a pain i've started doing it Anyway, I hope you all have a great day.